Today, I'll show you how I took a house stair and a table leg and turned it into this. A computer stand, a monitor stand for a standing desk. All for around $25 and it's tough and rugged as heck. Interested? Here we go. What we started with here is just a standard pine stair. You could use oak if you wanted to. And I cut off eight inches because I wanted a 40 inch shelf or for monitors or computers. And then I took a Parsons leg. This is 28 inches long and I cut it into four pieces right here, seven inches long. And these are gonna be the legs for my monitor stand. I made some templates for both sides and I'm gonna actually drill through the top of the stand made copies and I'm gonna actually double tape them as guides on where to drill the holes to line up with these legs. I'm gonna use screws and glue. I'm gonna countersink it and then I'm gonna put dowels in top and, and cut it off to conceal the screw. The paper template has been taped down on the wood. The squares are where the legs are gonna go and the screws are gonna go inside the leg about one inch. I'm using standard number seven, one and a half inch long wood screws for this build. And I've selected a Forstner bit that's big enough so that I can conceal the head with the dowels. I'm pre-drilling the holes so that the wood doesn't split, but allowing for the threads to go. And in this case, it's a 5 64 inch drill bit. Then once I finish the legs on this end, just repeat the same thing on the template on the other side. So you just want to get in there and make sure the hole is through. Take your time. I wanted to show that you can do it with a hand drill, vice with a drill press, because not everybody has drill presses. And once you've done that, just do it three more times. So I've removed the templates, they've done their job, I've got holes. And now I'm going to take a 3 8 inch Forstner bit, because that's a little bit bigger than the screw head. Drive down about the thickness, you can see right here, that will be my guide, in order to provide a place to put the dowel to conceal the screw head. Now just do that to the rest of the holes and then it's all ready for the screw. For the legs, I've repeated the pattern that was on the template. Came in half inch on either side and made the sitter punch divots so I'd know right where to drill the hole. You can see I drilled the holes here and here, an inch or so deep. Keep the wood from splitting, but also just to make it a nice smooth transition and flat. And then when I glue it up, it'll be nice and flush. Do that to all four legs. You have to decide which one's the top and the bottom. I am planed them out flat and perpendicular on both sides. So I feel pretty good about just choosing whatever looks best. I've buttered up the leg with some wood glue and this area here, and I'm just going to line it up and start screwing it in. For a tight fit. So on this one, I added a lot more glue. I can always wipe it down, but that really kind of seals the deal on all the sides. Just running down there. It's easier to wipe it off and have too much than too little. And if now all the legs are on there, it's rock solid. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm gonna let the glue dry, but the screws and the glue, you could stand on this stand. The last thing to do is to put the dowels into the holes. As you recall, this is a 3 8 inch hole and this is a 3 8 inch dowel. So I marked the dowel, I put some glue in there and then I'm just going to cut it off and pop it back in. It's a little higher rise than I would like, but I know it's completely down in there and good to go. And so I'll just sand that down once I get all the plugs in place. All the dowels have been put in place. I tried to get as close as I could to the surface, but I'm gonna have to sand it down, blend it in to finish at least the construction. And then it's just a matter of coating it with your favorite stain, paint, or customer here, which it happens to be my wife, wants just a foil rub on it. Something simple. So using the dowels really worked out well. The legs can be any height that you desire. These are seven inches. They could be eight inches, 10 inches, or shorter. It's totally up to you. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. 
This was really easy to make once I figured it all out. And if you follow all these steps, you too can make this for around $25 or less. And if you want a higher quality stair, wood, maybe it will go up to $30, $40 if you use oak. But this is going to serve its purpose. It's going to help as a standing desk or to monitor stand. There's plenty of room underneath. It really is a simple but effective design. And because it's a stair, it could be stood on. It's that tough. It's that strong. If you're interested in things like this, check out my channel. I make and break all sorts of stuff. I didn't break this. Build things, design things, home furnishings, home fixes, cosplay. You just never know what you're going to see on my channel.